There has been a custody agreement concerning Michael Jackson's three children. And our Dave Price is in Los Angeles with the tales this morning. Dave, good morning. Good morning to you, Russ. We got a lot of insight on how the Jackson family has been coping since Michael's death. But the major news out of Los Angeles this morning is about a settlement in a custody battle that could have been lengthy. CBS News has learned details of the custody agreement that has been reached between Katherine Jackson and Debbie Rowe. Katherine gets full custody and Debbie gets visitation, but no money. So you're going to go to the courts with, with closure, that Catherine gets custody, that Debbie Rowe has some visitation? We will go to the courts and we'll be united and this will not be about money. How is Catherine doing? Mrs. Jackson, she's doing fine. She is uh, still grieving, but she's a strong woman. She's trying to stay sh as strong as she can for her grandchildren, all of them, especially Michael's children who are going through a major ordeal right now. Are Michael's kids aware of, of what's going on around them? They certainly are aware um, that it's a big deal and that their daddy has passed. They read the news on the web and the reports. I've really tried to push the media to be responsible in how they try to handle this matter because there are three precious children involved. After weeks of nonstop rumors, we may soon know the answer to what killed Michael Jackson. The coroner's autopsy report is due out next week. You requested an autopsy. Do you have those results yet? The family has some results, and I'm not prepared to have that conversation. As the death investigation continues, one man has emerged as the major target, Dr. Conrad Murray, who was with Michael Jackson in his final hours. Does Catherine Jackson believe that Conrad Murray should be charged in Michael Jackson's death. It's too early to tell. Certainly, the family is grieving. I think the facts will speak for themselves. She's still dealing also with where her son will ultimately rest. Has there been closure on that issue? And those are very personal family decisions. I think the world wants to see Michael rest in peace. That seems like a far off proposition at this point, doesn't it? Well, I don't think so. I think people really started to begin to feel the profound loss of Michael Jackson. Mrs. Jackson is um, such a demure figure. How is she coping with this media spotlight? Mrs. Jackson is coping by continuing the business of love and serving as that rock for the family. You know, she's the Rose Kennedy, the Coretta Scott King of the world's entertainment business, really. And she's, she's coping by continuing to give love, and that's all she's ever done. Mrs. Jackson is gonna keep, keep going strong, um, and with the love and support of her family, she'll be, she'll, she'll be fine. Now, Lundell McMillan says that Katherine Jackson's biggest concern right now is that some of those who may have been part of the pop singer's downward spiral may now be trying to profit after his death. Russ, we'll send it back to you. Okay, Dave Price in Los Angeles. Dave, thanks a lot.